not afraid to let go uh. You decide if you're ever gonna let me know Yeah, suicide if you ever try to let go uh. I'm sad and know, yeah I'm sad and know, yeah Who am I? Someone not afraid to let go uh. You decide if you're ever gonna let me know Hey, what's up guys, it's Arlen, I'm here with another PewDiePie video. Let's go check him out because he's made a video called This Video Has Great Ads. <laughs> I bet it's like he made this video has... <laughs> I don't know what he means every time he makes a video. Hello, it's time for me to flex on you before the video begins. That's right, I finally received my origin like... What the fuck are you doing? Why are you flexing, PewDiePie? You just made a video about people flexing and stuff like that, and now you're flexing. I'm tired of you. I'm going to put my logo right here. It's better than a bro fist. Arlenator squad, peace. Peace, gang. Peace, gang. What's up, nigga? Uh, dang. I need to calm down. Jeez. Laptop gaming HD UV textured printing. Look at that. It feels like touching a woman. Honestly, it's really <laughs> cool. I like that you get to pick your own design. I love how they did this one, obviously, because it has my logo on it. I don't know. I think it's really cool because usually gaming laptops kind of try too hard to, to look like I'm a gamer. So it's cool that you can do your own design. I really like that a lot and it feels great. Origin PC also sent me this glass panel for my Genesis and god damn it looks good. Finally it's complete. So if you guys want to win one of these we're giving one away if you check out originpc.com slash PewDiePie. You don't have to leave a like, you don't have to do anything, just follow the instructions over on the website. I'm gonna leave another link in the description for you guys to vote for Origin PC for the Intel rig challenge. I think they definitely deserve to win it. I really like those guys over at Origin PC and I would love to see them win. I really think they earned it so if you want to do that as well I think that would be really cool. Both of the links are in the description. Check it out or and just enjoy the video. But don't forget, you can win laptop. Did I tell you about the laptop? <laughs> Good evening, my name is Wolf. Oh my goodness, he's doing another Pew News when I thought this was a different video. <laughs> and you're watching Pew News. That was the horn of racism. A, pro a prolific E ninja. Uh, wait, what? A prolific what? E celeb has said the N word. I'm done. Who was it? Well, I'm sure people are very upset. I'm sure there's a ton of media. I can't with this nigga, bro. People are basically grabbing their pitchforks because they're so angry. And I can say the word nigga because I'm black. And so disappointed that someone would commit this despicable act, just like they were when it happened to me. Actually, no one cares. You're that ninja. <laughs> this dude a fool. Puny. Yeah, I'm supplying the wood like a larger. These are gonna smoke in the inner car, Monica, Monica, Potter, Elijah. Lay say, lay say, life is a bitch, and that is the case, and I finished the project. Is that Nisha? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Oh, actually, can, can we do that again? I, I, I don't think I had the right reaction. Elijah, these are gonna smoke in the inner car, Monica, Monica, Potter, Elijah. Lay say, lay say, life is a bitch. Did he, did he just say it? <sighs> Honestly, all me. Dude, he said it so fast, I didn't even realize he said the word nigga, or nigger, whatever he said. He was rapping so fast, I didn't realize he said the n-word. Aside, this really, this really disappoints me. I used to be a big fan of Ninja, and I honestly thought he was better than this. So I know a lot of people are gonna be like, yeah, it's not that big a deal that he said it. People use it all the time, it's in rap culture, it's in you know, movies, it's a word that we're surrounded by, and it would be naive to just think that it wouldn't slip up sometimes for people. But I say no. I, I think, uh, I'm sorry Ninja, I'm gonna have to unsubscribe from uh, everything that you do now. I, I'm so disappointed, and it just hurts. It just hurts as a loyal subscriber to see someone that you really look up to and really admire sink to such low depths. I still watch Ninja. Fuck the media. 
But no, I do support Black Lives Matter, and I don't like the fact what happened to Stephen Clark, and I don't, I do think there is, you know, some racial stigmas, but just because someone says the N-word doesn't necessarily mean they're racist. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> anyway, how's your sex life? <laughs> As a whitey, I can tell you, you can't accidentally say the N-word. I have known how bad it was since I was a kid. If you are mad and that word comes to your lips, it's because it's part of you. Your anger is stronger than your fear of committing horribly racist acts. Which makes you <coughs> hella racist me. This one is still the highest rated thing that's ever been in regards to me on Tumblr. Oh, I know everyone's gonna be like, oh, well, pretty pie. Oh, well, you you did it too. <laughs> Excuse me, context matter, alright? For me, it wasn't PUBG, not Fortnite. This is clearly way worse. Guys, <laughs> social politics 101. If one thing is bad, everything uh, is bad. It's only black and white, there's no issues in between, okay? You say the magic word and you pay the consequences. The actual lyrics, of course, do not contain any instances of the N-word. Ninja botched the lyrics after the end the cut smoke on an indica line. Excuse me? Excuse me? If the word wasn't even in the song? <laughs> I can't, I feel like I'm treading a thin line here, I'm just... <laughs> everybody that's right we're moving on <laughs> speaking of saying too much YouTube said too much oopsie oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> demonetize no but seriously YouTube if you guys don't know what he's talking about I assume what he's talking about is that YouTube recently just basically let out well their creator insider which is like their small little channel they use to communicate to the rest of the YouTube community if you subscribe to creator insider and you watch his videos regularly in one of these videos some of the team actually said that notifications don't come to you just because you click the subscribe button and sometimes even when you click the bell button, it's based on viewer habits. So if I click on a PewDiePie video and I watch other videos too, even if I'm not subscribed to PewDiePie, but I watch him a lot, they're going to recommend him in my feed a lot. And even if I'm subscribed to a specific user and I'm subscribed to them with the bell on, but I don't click on their videos enough, guess what they're going to do? They're not going to recommend that video as much. It may not even show up in the sub box, even though I subscribe to it and click the notifications just because based on my click and viewer habits and watch time habits. That is basically what's going on with YouTube in a nutshell and a lot of creators are pissed. Now let's hear what PewDiePie has to say about it and let's hope that I am right about what he's about to talk about. Remember how YouTube is always like, uh, we are always pushing all your videos to your subscribers and that has never changed. Oh no, oh is it really YouTube? Is it really that so? Hmm. So. Um, to summarize, because we I get asked this all the time, um, YouTube, do you notify all of my subscribers every single time I go live? We don't notify all of your subscribers, right? We notify all of your subscribers who have rung the bell. Did you just say? Did you just say you don't show all the subscribers? <laughs> They're basically just telling you, like in a nutshell. You, you know? <laughs> okay, so we try to notify um, the people who we believe would be most likely to tune in and watch our channel. And this is what we've been talking about for years. This is the evidence we always wanted. YouTube isn't actually pushing to all their subscribers. I knew it, guys. People are pretty pissed about this. Yeah, it, it makes sense because, it, you know, PewDiePie has 60 million, 61 million subs but only gets 4 million, maybe 3 million views per video, of course he should get way more because he has that many subscribers. Even if, you, let's say they did push to all your subscribers, I guarantee you PewDiePie would get way more views than he does. He would probably get maybe 10 to 12 million views per video if they push to every single subscriber. Because of course there's subscriber drop off. He's been doing this for years. 
my channel, sometimes I get a video, I upload a video and I only get 30 views and I have 20K subs. That should tell you, you know, that's how the YouTube algorithm works and people have accused me of buying views or botting views. Or I've never bought a single view. All I've done is upload videos and like eventually it caught up. But some videos for some reason does not get to my subscribers. I've had subscribers email me and say, hey, dude, do you still make videos? I'm like, yeah, I upload almost every day. And I just like. Well, I don't see them, but I checked your channel and I see that, but YouTube's not sending me the notifications. You see, see what I'm saying? Like, YouTube, what are you doing? Get your algorithms together. This because uh, people don't agree. First comment, could you just notify everyone at once, then let them decide? Simple. If I click subscribe on a channel, that means, hey, I want to see more of this. Not, oh, I want YouTube to tell me what I want and what I don't want. Obviously, here they're not talking about actual video content. They're talking about live streams, and there is a difference. But still, it is pretty concerning from a creator's perspective because we've always taught our subscribers to. Uh, I even now, the funny part is that with live streams, I actually do think they notify. I don't think they notify all your subscribers with that either. But uh, I think they notify more people, for sure. I think so, at least. Say it. Subscribe uh, if you want more of my videos. But that's not really the case anymore. It's subscribe and ring the bell if you want more of my videos. Is this really the best solution? Maybe. I don't know. I'm trusting YouTube on this one, to be honest. Even though I am kind of annoyed by the whole situation. That being said, if you're not belled, now would be a great chance to hit that bell. Bing, bing. Yeah, bell. also guys, hit my bell too, please. Hit my bell. I don't give up. Just hit my bell. Hit my bell. A bing! Bing, 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 bing. That's news, everybody! What? Brad is gonna tell the weather! Yay, that's my favorite segment! Brad! Brad, tell us about the weather! I don't feel well. Jesus. Silly Brad. Last story comes from Nerd City and C Love. You might remember a few months ago, if a video got demonetized, it wouldn't get as much traction, especially if you were a smaller channel. YouTube responded to this saying that's not really true, and after that, nothing really changed. This is probably one of the things where, uh, as a creator, it's really frustrating to to be a creator on YouTube because we don't really know what's going on. I think YouTube is so scared of telling people what is going on for media outrage and for people abusing the system so they generally don't really keep us in the loop now what was uncovered this time honestly it's not surprising but still sort of disappointing the structure of youtube reveals itself things are a little more cut and dry if you're running an ad campaign and you want to limit your ad to play on videos that are rated g or t or m you can simply click a tab that well Abracadabra. If you still had any doubt, there's your video ratings. This tool would not work and it would not be structured this way if videos were not being rated internally. We can use this tool to gather information and sort of reverse engineer the way that the system works. Nurse, excluding all Nerd City out here is exposing YouTube. <laughs> one, and then collecting information on where your ads are placed, you can build a list of videos that fall into just one category. If you build a list of videos that are, say, rated M, then maybe we can look at the videos on that list and better understand the rating system as it's applied to all videos across the site. As a YouTube creator, we always have to play this sort of guessing game with YouTube. How does it work? Why does certain things work? <laughs> That's so true. You have to constantly play that guessing game to figure it out. <laughs> they do, and every time I upload a video, I sort of have to guess. It's like, okay, well, it is like it's seriously like upload this video and don't worry about it and go to the next one that's how i do youtube i don't know about you other youtube creators i literally make the video edit it upload it to the best of my ability optimize it to the best of my ability and if it doesn't get any views it doesn't matter because the system within that 24 hours the video will be dead in 24 hours Anyway, I just moved to the next one. It's over. It's dead. It's over. It's too late. You know? It went yellow. Uh, why? Why was it not monetized? I just think this could be solved so easily if we just knew what the rules were and if the, the system was more clear for and we have better guidelines as a creator. Now, it Okay, I, I understand what PewDiePie means if it was clear, but... The, 
there's no draw the line in a decentralized internet. So I understand what PewDiePie is saying, but YouTube themselves doesn't even know where to draw the line. <laughs> like it's like, oh, a guy who filmed a dead body gets to stay on YouTube. But hey, uh, uh, this person who just made said the N word and made a Nazi joke loses his whole show on YouTube Red. <laughs> They don't know where to draw the line, you know. A few months ago, uh, the guidelines that YouTube have internally uh, to review videos. But now what was exposed by Carla Plon and CeeLo is that YouTube not only reviews a video green and yellow, they also give it an internal rating, which is very similar to movie guidelines. PG, general, teen, and mature. Even if the video is green, it might still be flagged as mature, and only mature ads will play on that video. I saw this tweet, watching Philly D and straight up get an ad for Russian escort marriage services. Wow, YouTube has some really interesting choices lately. Love the straight up vagina in the corner in case people didn't pick it up. It up. <laughs> from the ad context. Philly does news content, which I assume gets flagged for M because it's it's in that area of being more controversial. And that's probably why he got served such a bad ad. It's not like uh, uh, a higher spender or something like that. Because different ads are have different values. The reason why this video was brought up wasn't because of the revenue issue. That's just something that I've noticed and something that annoys me. What they noticed was that if a video gets flagged as M, it actually gets recommended less and getting less views. So what they discovered is that yes, in fact, if a video gets tagged as mature, it does get less views. And what they noticed was that videos that talk about suicide prevention, videos that talk about controversial topics that are still important, get flagged as mature and then get less views. The bot can't seem to tell the difference between a video that's, let's say, making light of suicide and a video that's aimed at dissuading people who are suicidal from going through with it. Look at this video, for example, titled before you commit suicide, watch this video first. The comments are filled with people sharing how much this video helped them. Some people saying that watching it literally saved their life that day. It was rated M and made harder to find. That should not be happening. If a young person is considering hurting themselves. And that makes sense because there is a lot of videos. There's been videos where it was harder to find my videos I noticed. Like YouTube was sinking down a rabbit hole where no one could really find it unless they went out of their way to look on my channel through browse features. That's messed up, you know. This might be the video they need to see. There should not be an age limit on encouraging people to choose life. YouTube itself as a platform really feels like it's pushing uh, this sort of content aside. And I think YouTube Rewind is a perfect example because it's it shows what YouTube wants to be, but it's so disconnected from what YouTube is. And I think uh, I think that's true. Yeah, like um, internet culture, you know, is is way different from what th they want YouTube to be. This clean cut, trendy, fidget spinner, viney, Instagram influencer type platform. It's just not gonna work. This this platform started really, arguably, you can say the gamers have ran this this system for the longest, and it's it's sad. It's sad to see you to try and figure out what it, its presence on in the internet uh, and what it wants to be, the more it's digging its own grave. <laughs> that was news, everybody! Yay! I am Wolf Bullies, and I hope you guys enjoyed the most legitimate news source on the entire internet. <laughs> arguably the most, yeah, arguably. Um, it's, it's just so sad to see YouTube going down this terrible route. It, it's not working out for them and, um, you know, it, it's just sad. But, Pew News, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and peace.